Hi everyone, I'm here again with an art haul for you, mostly watercolor stuff, so I'm going to jump right in because I'm going to try to make this a short video. So let's start with the first thing is this book I got. It's really, really great for loose watercolor style. So painting watercolor botanicals by Harriet de Winton. And I'll just show you some examples here. See, they're just mainly simple, loose style watercolors, and it shows you the exact techniques. There's a dahlia, just beautiful. Yeah, so I'm very excited. And then at the end, I think some cute little pots and stuff put put it all together and wreaths which I love so that's just a really great book um, second thing I got was these from Amazon is this Medine watercolor palette just a really great price for this and then uh, the Apartments you put in there and the reason I got this is um, I have a lot of water Daniel Smith tubes and I do want to make a specific palette here next thing is just um, these are little bottles I got from Amazon for actually for um, alcohol ink work And they're just little bottles to put probably just plain alcohol in or paint uh, with a little tiny applicator top. Next thing is I got this from Amazon and it's just cute little packaging by Bower Bird and this is a watercolor palette. So some of you might know I love mini palettes and a while ago I featured this like years and years ago I featured this um, oops, flower palette for my pinks and reds that I love and I put a link to that seems like a lot of people are love them too and they purchased one well I found this one Look at how beautiful that is. Oh, I just love it so much. So this I'm going to use for my greens. Look how cute that will look on my desk together with the pinks and reds and green. I do a lot of botanical stuff. That's why I can use all greens in here. But of course you can use whatever color. So I love that. Again, I got one of these back when Stephanie Law was offering these back before Etcher took over and w and sells them now. But um, I'm not sure if I ever showed you these tiny little palettes. It's just so cute. It's got felt here to protect them, and then there's see there's the little top part where you can mix, and the felt is to glue on the bottom, and so it won't scratch anything and then this tiny little palette to put watercolors in when you're working small I guess I just love it so so much anyway I got that a while ago just thought I'd show it while we're, I was talking about small palettes though I got two of those And then my favorite thing that just arrived the other day is, so I can't really show the top because it's got my address on it, but 
I can open it up here and I'm eager to get in and play with these so I want to do this unboxing quickly and get it up so that I can start playing. Um, these are my first homemade watercolors and I chose the company Poems About You um, because I saw a girl on YouTube um, swatch and review them. So it's a little piece of watercolor paper with an embossing of Poems About You on it. And then I love that their sticker is plain so I can put whatever I want on there. I just personally really like that. So I ordered the tin and then there's a little watercolor piece in here I guess to swatch them out and this piece of paper smells divine. It's not necessarily clove but there's mm, it's just a really sweet subtle smell on there. So here are my little <laughs> homemade watercolors. I'm so excited to try them out. So, so this is a full pan of Caput Mortuum Violet. So I ordered um, a half pan, but for some reason they made it full, I guess, to fill up the container. So that was a little gift to me, the Caput Mortuum Violet. So the full pan of that. Titanium Gray. Lazarite Afghan Caput Mortuum Reddish Lime Green I'm gonna do a video of these. This is what I want to get the haul out of the way and then start playing with them. So uh, Light Lemon Vivanite Gray Goethite Magnetite, Tough Purple, Yellow Gold, Sparkly One, Red Cabbage, Terracotta, Burgundy, Azurite, Red Earth, Celadonite, Mummy Bauxite, Gray Mineral. So those are the ones I ordered. That with the tin and everything was about $158 Canadian or $146 and $12 shipping Canadian. My first homemade watercolors. And then the last things I got were this paper. It might not all go in frame, but it's, I've never tried this Nara paper. It's uh, 12 by 18, 10 sheets. It's a nice large size though. That's like Yupo paper, but it's a different brand. And I got this was super cheap on Amazon, so it's a series 200. It's not the best, but it's sort of good. It's called. It's not student, and it's not artist grade. It's kind of in the middle, but it feels very smooth. And it's acid free, and the size is 11 by 15. And I also got very large size. Of 400 best Strathmore watercolor. This is 12 by 18 size. So that is my haul. Let me get this up, post it on YouTube, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I will try to leave links wherever I can. I said to poems about you I would leave a link to there, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a great day. Thank you.